There are a lot of things when making applications that we can't always visualize and we don't necessarily get to see. One of those things is coverage. Now we've talked about coverage a lot in the past videos. What I'm looking at here is 20 gallons per acre uh, using water and dye at different ranges of the canopy. So top part of the canopy and bottom part of the canopy. A lot of times we can see that coverage. Uh, we know we're getting good coverage. We go back and assess those plants. But the one thing that we never really see is drift potential. So what I looked at is downwind. We got a pretty good wind in this field. Downwind, I looked at drift potential 20 feet downwind. And what we looked at was different adjuvants as well. So this is 20 feet downwind. You can see drift potential here. I have a plate downwind capturing some of those droplets. This is without an adjuvant. This would be with an adjuvant. So you can see definitely drift in both cases. We do have a strong wind, 20 feet downwind. We are getting drift of both of those. What I have noticed though, is by using that adjuvant for proper placement, I get better return on investment of my spray application by getting those droplets to hit the target less off target drift maybe less crop damage less crop response less phone calls from neighbors and making sure that we're getting control of those pests that we're targeting